Are you tired of cutting your videos and animating your captions? Today I'm going to show you how you can exactly animate your captions just like that in Adobe Premiere Pro with the help of a plugin named VVD. Before showing you the procedure, I would like to thank VVD for sponsoring this video. First you need to install VVD. I'll put a link in the description below. Just click on that link and go to the website. Make an account and log into your account and there you will see a download option. You can download the plugin and you have to install the plugin with the help of GXP installer. So first install GXP installer and then download the plugin. Then click and drag this plugin on GXP installer and install it for Adobe Premiere Pro. So the installing process is done. Let's go to Adobe Premiere Pro and see how you can use that. After installing BVD using GXP installer, just open Adobe Premiere Pro. I have already opened Adobe Premiere Pro and imported a clip that I'm going to use. So this is the clip. Hey guys, this is Jameson. Welcome to it. I want to add some captions here and I want to show you different styling option that you can use so if i go to window and then if i go to extension i can see brevid is here i can click to open brevid here you have to log in using your credential so i am just signing in so this is the interface of this plugin you can use autocut or you can use captions feature when you are using autocut it will just automatically cut your video and delete them unwanted part of our video suppose you are editing a one hour long podcast then you can use this option to delete the pauses and where the person is not talking so we're not going to use this one today we're just focusing on captions if i click captions i can select different options first credit i have 375 minutes left so when you install the plugin for the first time you'll get 50 minutes free time to test out this plugin then if you like that plugin you can purchase their premium subscription let's test it out how it works so the next one is preset you can just click here and select any style that you like suppose i really like this one so i can select this one so when the caption is made it will automatically apply that preset and now detect language if you want to detect the language you can just select detect language it will automatically detect the video language and apply the caption accordingly i'll not select detect language because i'm not a native speaker so sometimes it doesn't work properly for me so i'll just manually select the language english and then if i click create it will automatically upload this audio file to their server and then it will make captions and bring it back here in adobe premiere pro and it will automatically make an essential graphics track and apply that caption animation so let's wait for a while so here it's done if i play it back now hey guys this is james and welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial you can see the caption have been animated and it has applied the style that we have selected right so now you can customize it if you go here and then click you can change the line there we have added two lines if you want to see single line you can just decrease it to one or you can just keep it as two and then you can increase or decrease the character and it will automatically update that setting right so if i decrease the character to maybe 15 it will update it automatically so that is a cool feature also you can apply clips it will use ai to apply clips using the caption suppose if i go here and then i can click suggested clip it will automatically suggest us some clips that we can use for our video and that will be ai generated clips right so here it has suggested some clips if you click here to download it will download that clip and it will place it here on the timeline right again show you how you can edit there is a edit clip i can just click here to download it it will download and apply that again if i go there i can download this one and again maybe this one so now if i play it back let's see how does it look well, this is a very exciting video because today i'm going to show you how you can edit your video without any effort. so here you need to adjust the placement of the clips so you can just select the clips and go to effects control and there you can change the position of that clip right so i can just keep it here or i can just keep it here in the side whatever i like you can use the clip option if you want i will not use this one for this video next you can use emojis right and you can use ai suggested highlights if i click there it will automatically suggest us some highlights option and there you can use it let's see what does it brings so here it has selected some words like adobe premiere pro exciting video so if i play it back you'll see those words have been highlighted 
Hey guys, this is Jameson. Welcome to a new Adobe Premiere. So here you can see the color of that words have been changed. But pro tutorial. This is a very exciting video because today I'm going to show you how you can edit your video without any effort. And it has detected pretty accurately. The emphasized words are very very accurate. Now let's see how you can change the text and fonts, right? So if I go to a style, there I can select the preset. So if you want to change the preset you can do that from here suppose i want to use this one instead that one right so preset have been loaded now Adi. if i play it back hey guys this is james and welcome to a new adobe you can see animation have been changed again you can select another one maybe this one so if i play it back hey guys this is james and welcome to a new adobe. i like this one more right again you can change the position if you want to keep it at the center you can do it or you can keep it in the top section whatever you like i'll just keep it in the bottom section and then you can change the padding i mean if you want to adjust it more you can do it using padding and scale settings and then block animation you can change the intensity speed then rotation you can also change it you can change the fonts if you have any custom font you can use that suppose i want to use pebas i can select that one and then maybe i will change the padding a little bit and i will increase the scale a little bit now you can add stroke shadow whatever you want from this section also you can change the active text animation speed from here right and then highlight text you can use that one or you can just disable it from here so that is the customization option that you will get from this section and now sometimes you need to change some words or you need to correct the spelling how you can do that you can go here and from that section click on this text icon here and there you can click on any block and then you can just write whatever you want it will update the words again click here and then you can just get back here also if you want to manually add highlight you can go here on this star icon and then if you click any words it will highlight those words now if i play it back hey guys this is jameson welcome to a you new see, those words have been highlighted i really like this plugin if you animate your captions a lot if you work for your clients where you need to animate the caption and you have to try different styling for your captions then i'll highly recommend this plugin the subscription fee is pretty affordable you can buy monthly or yearly if you buy yearly plan then you will get two extra months so that is all for today i'll put a link of dvd in the description if you want to try then you can just click and download the plugin and try if you like it you can buy the subscription i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye